changed everything that I'm going to do, so um, I'm still getting it set up, but uh, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be fairly epic. It could be epic fail. Um, I'm going to do something live here, and uh, <laughs> it makes me nervous, which means it's probably a good idea. So um, if you would, as you're coming into the room, uh, if you could let me know. Ooh, Simon Karlstad is here. By the way, my my. Uh, if you're wondering if I have fantastic grasp of the uh, Swedish language, I absolutely do. Um, <laughs> according to Simon. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do something. Okay, I'll give you the backstory in a second. I'll start recording. Let me just get the uh, let me get the session open um, over here, and then you can. You can see what we're talking about. So, um, under podcast, this is number 175, I believe. Somebody, Carl said, Carl can you go check the home studio corner and make sure this is number 175? I think it is. Um, I just don't want to go check. And you're right there. Okay. Um, all right. So, we got the podcast is up. Hey, welcome to your first live session attendance. Mario's here live. I hope we have a bunch of people show up. That would be super cool. Oh, come on, Simon. I'll go look it up. Golly, the laziness of these people. I'm kidding. Simon is a buddy from Sweden who came and sat in that chair, or this chair, or that, I don't remember which chair it was, but he's been in my studio. I even took him to get hot chicken. I mean, that's just... Oh, I thought it was 175. It's 173. That was way off. Let me just make sure I'm not kidding myself. Hang on, 172? Hang on, we gotta check uh, check the old YouTube, because that's uh, that could be right. Yeah, we're on 173. Okay, so I'm a little behind the ball, behind the eight ball. 175 sounded so much better. Let's rename this one. All right, so 173, still good. Um, all right, so what's going to happen here is uh, I'll explain what I'm doing as we go. But um, those of you here live, help me uh, help me just troubleshoot a couple things um, to make sure everything's working. Using reverb for drums and snare. Yeah, Mitchell, um, shoot me an email, and um, I will definitely and and tell me specifically what you want to know about drums and snare because there's so many things I could talk about, but um, but yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, so um, let me know uh, that you can hear. Let me just play some audio real quick. She puts her money where her mouth is. Make sure you can hear this. I can't hear. Fun fact, if you have your your speakers muted, you can't hear things. Okay. That's a pro tip for the day. Sorry, I'm a little scrambled. This is, uh, I was literally about to, um, that was some Joe Bonamassa, by the way. His new record's fantastic. Uh, I was literally going to um, just do a normal episode of Ask Joe and do my little rant at the beginning, and I changed my mind, and so it's going to be epic. So let's... Um, let me get this recording started, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Let me uh, let me do the intro real quick. Real real quick, we'll do the intro. Here we go. This is Ask Joe number one seventy three, and I'm gonna do something stupid. This is Ask Joe number one seventy three, and I'm gonna do something stupid. Okay. I'm just a poor boy, working day by day. Any guesses as to what you think I'm going to do? This is Ask Joe number 173, and I'm going to do something stupid. 
All right. Got it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to mute these two pieces of audio because I don't even know if and when I'll need them. Okay. All right. Great. Now I think we're ready to start the recording. Something stupid. Good guess, Mario. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Welcome everybody to the live stream. We're getting started right now in five, four, three, two, one. This is Ask Joe number one seventy three, and I'm gonna do something stupid. <laughs> That wasn't a good one. I didn't finish the word stupid. Let's try that again. This is Ask Joe number 173, and I'm going to do something stupid. All right, hello and welcome back. My name is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com, and it's been a while since I've done one of these, and... Throwing the old model out the window today. I'll get back to the regularly scheduled Ask Joe and I'll answer your questions and all of that. But for today, I want to do something fairly stupid. So here's the thing. You know that um, if you get my emails and if you listen to this podcast, that I tend to like to talk about making music and audio, obviously. But also I'm a big fan of talking about things centered around productivity and mindset and, and the stuff that keeps us from making music, right? Because that's the biggest complaint I get from people is, I love to make music, I love to learn from your videos, I just never have enough time to do music. So, what you might expect right now is for me to do some sort of rant on why you need to be uh, making music, why you need to make time, need to put it on a calendar, all that stuff I normally talk about. And I'm not, because today I was... Literally a few minutes before this started, um, I was thinking, okay, what am I going to talk about today? And I thought, well, I can talk, kind of think down the path of facing some fears, um, reasons we don't dive into things that we want to do. Because I, I just had a friend over yesterday who's in the same boat. He's a musician, but he's kind of dragging his feet on stuff. And so we were both kind of talking about how we're afraid of success in that area. And anyway, so that got me thinking, yeah, that's what I'll talk about. And then it just hit me like a ton of bricks. No, no, I'm not going to sit here and tell other people that they need to face their fears, do the thing that they're scared of doing, um, and then sit back and me not do the same thing. So the stupid thing that I'm going to do today, and I'm going to do it here live streaming to YouTube, and then obviously this recording will be up for you to watch and hopefully be inspired by, but possibly just laugh at me, which is cool too. Um, I'm going to face this thing that I've been avoiding for literally months now literally months i've been avoiding this thing anybody guess what it is anybody in the live chat i bet you can't guess what it is well let me rewind a little bit you know that a few months back um i was looking into booking shows or putting a band together and with the intent of booking shows with the intent of building up a following with the ultimate goal of playing rhyme and auditorium right and because Ryman Auditorium is a fantastic venue here in Nashville, I've always wanted to play it. It's been kind of a loose goal of mine for a long time, but I've never done anything to move towards it. So the first thing I did was uh, to move towards it was to write a bunch of songs and release a couple albums, which you can check out at joegildermusic.com. I did Better This Way and the uh, EP Free. Um, so that's a total of whatever. 18, 20 songs or something. And so then I'm thinking, okay, I can either write more songs and put out another record, which is fine, or I can start actually playing shows and getting this out there. So that's kind of what the impetus to put a band together and start actually rehearsing. So we've rehearsed, and Simon's here on the live chat. He's been, he was there at the very first rehearsal, I believe. Simon, we've gotten a lot better since then, but we still haven't played a show. I still haven't booked a show. It's on me. And it comes down to first just thinking, okay, let's get ready. And then from there, it kind of went into, hmm, um, there's just, I'm just kind of paralyzed. I'm afraid to do it because I just don't know. I, I don't know how I'm going to pay the musicians. I don't Honestly, I think there's a lot of me that doesn't believe the musicians are really behind me, and it's nothing against them. It's all me. Uh, my brother-in-law, Joel, who's playing bass, said it's all you, brother. The, uh, <laughs> you're the, you're the, of the six band members, you're in sixth place as far as, uh, as far as believing in this music. So 
that was kind of a punch in the face. Thank you, Joel, if you're watching. Uh, I like it when you punch me in the face. But um, but yeah, so I've just been dragging my feet. And I've put out some feelers on a few things about some bigger ideas of doing shows at um, on the weekends at churches where we could do a show on Saturday night and then we could lead their music on Sundays at church, things like that, which is cool. And maybe doing a workshop here in Nashville where we do a full day workshop on setting up a band for a live concert recording and then going through that and then doing a show that night. All of those are great, but just booking a show at a normal venue is something I haven't done. So what I'm going to do today is I've got a list of uh, four or five venues here in Nashville that I want to play and I'm literally going to call them and try to book some shows or at least get the ball rolling on this thing I've had on my to-do list of call venues for months now. Uh, I'm going to do it now here live on this episode of Ask Joe. And I'm already regretting it. So this ought to be really fun. So those of you in the live chat, thanks for being here. Uh, the moral support, even if you think I'm an idiot, is <laughs> super helpful. Um, let me pull up a window and let's, uh, let's just kind of see what happens. So this is unlike any tutorial video I've ever done. Uh, we're going to look up Third and Lindsley first. So... Third and Lindsay's a cool little venue. They have a lot of cool shows. They do a live radio show every Sunday night that airs on a local independent radio. And yeah, so that's where I'm going to start. We're going to call them up. I've literally got my phone patched in so you can hear uh, what's going to happen. But the thing is, here's the thing. You may not know this about me. When I first graduated college, um, I went to work at a company called Sweetwater Sound up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Most of you have probably heard of Sweetwater or perhaps even bought audio equipment from them. And what I did there, I was in, um, I was a, I was a sales guy. I was uh, literally on the phone. Most days for a couple years, I would make a hundred outbound calls a day to existing customers in the system who weren't currently buying or hadn't bought in a while or didn't have a salesperson. And I would call them. And, and that was it. Like most of it would be leaving voicemails. Sometimes it'd be really awkward conversations, but over the years, um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading the, the 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 comments over here. But over the years, I've gotten I I developed a pretty good skill of being able to make calls and connect with people and not be nervous on the phone. Now I haven't done that in several years too because I've been doing home studio corner. But I think that muscle might still be in there, and I might still be able to pull it off. Um, so I'm literally uh, let me make sure y'all can see my screen. Okay, yeah, you can see what's going on here. I'm literally gonna go through their website and figure out best way to. Uh, contact them. There's their specs for the show. All right, we're going to call Ron for booking. All right, so we're going to call Ron. Here we go, Ron. Now, some people say I should get a promoter and all that, and that's probably true, but I just don't have... One thing I need, real quick. I'm not stalling, but one thing I need is... Uh, I'm going to not let you see this for just a minute because... Uh, you can see my list of venues I'm going to call. I'll let you see that. But just for a second, got to look up. My one leverage point is the fact that I have uh, a decent-sized audience, audience through Home Studio Corner, right? Now, most of you aren't in Nashville, so it doesn't help me if I'm trying to book a show in Nashville. But I can look in my system, and I can see how many people are, how many of my customers or how many of my people in my database, specifically customers, are in Tennessee. So let me look that up first because then I can at least say, hey, I've got these people on my email list already, which is a, f it's a fair assumption to say some of them would want to come see me live um, at a show. Maybe it's a little bit of a stretch, but um, I'm going to look that up because that will be something. I've got to offer them something. Being like, hey, I'm a no-named artist. Can I come play your show, your venue? They might say, yeah, sure, come on out on Tuesday. Nobody's ever here anyway. We need, to, we need a few shows just for practice of it, but um, it would be good to have okay so I've got of the customers that I have names for in the system I've got 60 folks in Tennessee which looks like most of them are I can't tell they're, they're from around the Nashville area so that's not as many as I thought let me look over to that's in home studio corner land and then let me switch over to Nimbit which is where I sell all my music and I think I can look up where folks are located in there as well, of people who have bought my music. So that's probably a better gauge of to say, hey, I've got this many people who'd be interested in, um, who are in the area, who have bought my music, who would come to a show. So let's look that up really quickly. 
Sorry, I can't show you all this stuff. It's private. It's private. Stop being so nosy. Uh, fans. Basement. <laughs> I can come play your basement. Well, there is the basement is on my list. Um, but if you want me to play your basement as well, that's great. All right, so how can I filter uh, da, 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 state? I'll do TN and see of the music fans it looks like I have I should have more okay around the same about 50 or so okay so I don't have a huge but that adds up to probably not a lot of cross-pollination there roughly 100 people so that's not as impressive as I thought it was going to be <laughs> uh, okay um, tell them I have a huge fan in Sweden or is it Hugen I'll have a, I have a Hugen fan in Sweden all right let's go back uh, let's go back over here so you can see what's going on I gotta be honest I thought this was a cool idea for a minute but uh, I am mostly regretting this decision now which is good because I've literally been not doing this so let me find the phone number and let's uh, I hope I can get the audio to come through these speakers so I can hear what's happening too but uh, those of you in the live chat let me know if something's loud too loud too soft and um, oh you know what I need to create uh, you know what I may I may not even use the studio one session I may just use the YouTube recording for this uh, I don't know who's putting phone numbers down president is that oh, President Obama's phone number okay I'll call I'll call old Barack in a minute um, man I'm nervous. Let's just do it. I can't, I can't talk about it anymore. Let's just go. Here we go. We're going to call and talk to Ron. Oh, it's not coming through. All right, we'll do it like this. It stinks. All right, we'll hold it right here. Third and one, please. Is Ron available? He is not. It's my understanding he's out of town, but he may be back today. Okay. He's always available via email. Do you have his email address? I don't. I've just got his number. Let me give it to you. Thank you. You ready? I am. It's mail, M-A-I-L, at thirdandlinsley.com. The number three, R-D-A-N-D-L-I-N-D-S-L-E-Y.com. That's easy enough. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. No problem. Bye. Bye. The good thing is I don't live in New York, so most people I talk to are going to be super sweet and southern, just like that. So that was easy. Let's go ahead and, you know, I'm not going to send an email. You know what sending an email looks like. But I've got the email address there for, what was his name? Ron. Ron. All right, so that's the first one down. That wasn't too painful. Let's go Let's do the basement. Now, should I have had these numbers prepared beforehand? Yes, but uh, Americans are so nice, Simon says. We are nice. I want to come to Sweden and experience the non-nice folks. Um, I'm lucky not to live in New York. Yes. Granted, there's probably more places to play. Booking. There's a booking tab. It's probably going to say email us, but if it doesn't, I will call them. Even Not that sending an email is wrong. If you're looking to book a show at either of our venues, please read, please read before you email us. Have a date or few in mind. Don't say you'd like to play sometime. That's helpful. Um, please include links to music, websites, and social media sites. If you have a lineup in mind or acts you know you'd like to join the bill, please pitch the lineup. Okay. And then there's the email address. All right. So I can't do that right now. That might actually be the better thing to do. I don't have a lot of my ducks in a row, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to copy this over. Because I don't have like a press kit, I just I just need to book some shows. And if I need that stuff, great. But some people say have a great video of your band. Um, <laughs> I'm a music phenom. Uh, you know, I need a, a video of the band playing would be fantastic, but I'm not going to shell out money pay I just I don't think that that seems backwards I need a couple shows just for us to work out playing live as opposed to playing to ourselves so let's do uh, let's do the Rutledge I love the Rutledge um, the Rutledge
Dun, 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 dun. But they had good advice on the basement page of not saying I'd like to play sometime. The problem is my drummer's out of town all month because he's a touring drummer with an actual successful musician. So I probably, Tim, I might need a new drummer because uh, you're too successful for me. We'll see. Although I loved him. Uh, All right, I know what equipment you have. I want to know who to talk to. You're not helping me out too much. Info. You really don't want to put your phone number on your website? Thanks, greetings from Hungary. Get a gig at the Cave in Big Bear, California. The thing about Big Bear, California is it's in California. And I need to book some shows here in town first. All right, we got to look it up a different way. Uh, let's go back to Google. Oh, I would totally do Memphis. Jeb dude, where should I where should I call? Who should I call in Memphis? It would be an easy one day just hop down and do a show and come back. Rutledge, Nashville. There's a phone number. Let's try that phone number. I gotta say, if you're scared of doing something, do it live in front of people. <laughs> it's kinda like music. Um it scares the crap out of me, but now I've said I'm gonna do it, so Wait, it says per they closed the Rutledge? Wow, I'm out of touch. It says permanently closed right here. Ugh. That can't be right, right? Uh, do a live show on YouTube? Absolutely. Absolutely going to do some live online shows. That stinks. This is not going like I thought it would. Closed? Uh, I already did the basement. Yeah, I know. I'll, but the website's still there. I don't understand. Google could be wrong, but then the phone number was disconnected. Yeah, it's showing closed in several spots. Great. Super. All right, Exit In. Exit In's a cool spot. It's not huge, but a lot of cool big names have played there. I've got some friends who've played there. Jeb Dude. Do you have, do you have like, are you playing out in Memphis right now? And could book a show and then have us even head open for you. Like, you don't have to open for us, but I'm just looking for whatever. All right, exit in. Here we go. Not closed, which is helpful. Have I thought of being a guest host on Pensado's place? Sure. I haven't been invited. Um, I don't, I'm not big enough for Pensado. I'm not a Graham Cochran, uh, although Graham's been on there and it's super cool. <whistles> FAQ. Where is the exit in? Where can I figure out? Anything about booking? Why don't we just call them? Thing is, I bet I could just book a weekend and whatever musicians can make it I can get another drummer if my drummer's in Switzerland or wherever he was last time I checked alright we're calling exit in let's see how this goes thank you for calling the offices of Marathon Music Works and exit in please listen to the following options for questions related to ticketing please press 1 to inquire about renting the venue for a private event, please press 2. For programming and booking, please press 3. For marketing, press 3. So I'm going to explain to Tiki in the chat what I'm doing. He'll get a kick out of it. You have reached the programming and booking department of Marathon.
how music works and exit in. We are unavailable to take your call at this time, but if you would, please I'm really good at leaving messages, by the way. As soon as we can. Thanks. Hey, this is Joe Gilder. Uh, I was wanting to talk to somebody there about booking shows there. Uh, I've got a band I've just put together, and we're looking to book around shows here this summer. Um, sooner, preferably, than later. Uh, I can send you all the information. I'm just not sure to whom I need to be speaking. Uh, if you can give me a buzz back, that'd be great. My number is 615. Thanks so much. Bye. You like the way I muted the mic so y'all don't all get my personal phone number? Boom. That's how you do it. Professional. <laughs> uh, we'll see if they call back. I don't have much... Uh, I don't have much faith in people calling back because I'm sure they get that call a bajillion times. They do have a marketing and media PDF. Ooh, and there's a marketing... That's not marketing, though. Their PDF is literally one page that has an email address on it. That's weird. <laughs> if you If you can read my lips and you got my phone number that way, then you deserve to text me. Come on. Yeah, Tiki, uh, who's joining us, I am, I've been putting off calling venues to book shows, and so now I'm doing that live because otherwise I won't do it. 12th and Porter. Write up follow up in your calendar. Yes, I will follow up on all of these um, for sure. All right, 12th and Porter is also a cool venue. I don't know when the last time I was there was, which is probably probably not great to say, hey, I don't know when the last time I was in your venue, but I'd love to play there, um, which is fine. Of course, their website's not loading either. Here we go. <laughs> Flat River Band. Tanya Davis, don't know who that is. They've got an email address and a phone number. That's a little more helpful than everybody else. Can't you imagine my ugly mug right there? Wouldn't that be great? And their website's super slow, so that's awesome. Jeb, dude, you're trying to get out and play gigs too. Let's do it. All booking requests should be sent to that. Please include link. Okay, let's copy that. Okay, so it basically says email them. Colleen's the general manager, so we'll add that to the... I'll send some emails later. So what my emails will do is have... Uh, I'll set up a... Here's a good thing. I mean, what I'm planning to do, whether it's a good idea or not, I don't know. But my gut says we need to um, obviously link back to joegildermusic.com where they can listen to all the all my music. Um also have a playlist on um, a playlist on uh, SoundCloud with some maybe some live recordings that I might be able to dig up um, just to show them what we got and uh, I mean I think that might be it so anyway uh, someone's asking what is this teaching <laughs> it's not teaching you anything uh, this is me a lot of people tell me the majority of people have issues booking um, booking shows or not booking shows getting anything done because they spend a lot of their time um, they just don't have time and so I've been putting things off and I'm booking shows here live because it makes me super nervous and makes me do it uh, I haven't booked any yet uh, most everybody wants an email but what's one other venue I could do call the Ryman I'm kidding I can't call the Ryman um, you know this was a good exercise I've gone through my list I think haven't I What's the deal with Exit In? What was the Exit In deal? I left a message. That's right. L-M-O-N. Left message on machine. And the Rutledge is closed. Okay. Yes. Mexican vacation for we. That's exactly what it is. Um, let me think of one more place. Let's look up Nashville. Actually, let's look up... Uh, Lightning 100 is a big local station here. I need to talk to them. I've got a contact there who's a big Home Studio Corner fan who wants me to come on the show... I need to pursue that. Um, he wants me to come on as like a audio guy, but could maybe squeeze in some music too. Uh, they've got a concert calendar. Uh, Tiki, there have been no previous podcasts, um, so no. 
I haven't done it in a couple weeks. They were on the calendar, then I moved them. Uh, Ascend Amphitheater. Tin Roof is a good option. Um, yeah, let me call Tin Roof, because they've got a couple different locations. Tin Roof, Nashville. My website is kind of loud. All right, I've got his phone number. That's easy. Let's do that. Three one three. The next thing I need to do is talk to friends around town who either are playing shows, um, play shows with them. And Tenders, this is Nick. Hey Nick, uh, who do I need to talk to there about booking a show? Booking a show. You yeah. Should, uh, be best through email. Okay. Is that the uh, info Nashville at tinroofbars dot com? Uh no. Let me let me give you okay. the proper email there. Let me know when you're ready. I am ready. All right. It's uh, Josh J O S H at tinroofbars dot com. So T I N R O O S B A R S dot com. Okay. Ah. Uh, Cool. I'll email him. Thanks, man. Alrighty. Take care. Right, Bye. See, I got an email. It's just, it's nothing, it's not something to go woo-woo about, but it's something to go woo-woo about, you know? I mean, it's it's a little step. And granted, okay, so here's a cool story to round it out. I'm probably going to be done because I'm sweating up a storm and not get, really getting anywhere. Um, what's this about making out with Michael Jackson? What? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Um, so, the, um, friend of mine is a booking agent or he's a he's an agent for uh, one of the bigger there's only a couple of agency firms that are big and the um, he in the Christian market actually he's a he's the agent for people like Chris Tomlin Stephen Curtis Chapman some of these big names so I asked him I said hey what's what's the lowdown um, would it make sense since I don't know how to book shows to have other people that book the shows for me and he said you know honestly booking agents and whoever aren't really going to be up for, um, aren't really going to want to book anything for you if you don't have, if you're a no name. So he said, you're going to do a lot of going through a lot of no's, do a 200, 300 mile radius around Nashville and just play what you can. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm going to go through this list. I'm going to pull together another list, get a lot of no's and potentially book a show or two and then do my own booking. I can book my own stuff at, you know, one here, uh, live, like cram everybody in here and do a live one on YouTube which would be super fun and would have us recorded and videoed and stuff, which is cool. Um, and then my church, I'm going to book a show there and work that into some sort of home studio corner type training thing, which I think would be cool and interesting. Um, but you guys are asking me to play a song. That seems odd. Dave Grohl is my hero. Dave Grohl is, I mean, whether you like Foo Fighters and their music or not, uh, he is creative. Um, he, he thinks outside the box. He does things that no one else is doing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a big fan of Dave. Um, you know what? Let's do one more. I've made two calls because everybody else, or three calls. Let's find one more spot. Where was the uh, Lightning 100? I'm going to do one more. One more. You want to hear a B side song of something I haven't recorded yet? You haven't heard yet? I don't know if I have anything you haven't heard yet. One of my old high school tracks, that's not going to happen. Um, I could do... Oh, how could I do? Um, do, 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 do? For going live, software I'm using is... Uh, it's called Wirecast Play. It's a really cheap version of Wirecast specifically for YouTube. Uh, a lot of limitations, but you can buy the upgrade for 200 bucks. but I've just got the free one. Um... Y'all want me to play a song? I'm trying to book shows and y'all are distracting me by asking me to play a song, which is it's kind of nice. Um, Graham Gilder and Joe Cochran are my fans. That's funny. All right, I'll play a song. I'm done. Let me. Do you want to. That guitar's not tuned right. Let me get one that says it is.
Y'all are a weird bunch asking me to play a song distracting me from... Um, I don't have it. I haven't written in a while. I've, uh, I've been mostly doing the band thing. Um... And your first request, and I'll, um, and I'll play whatever the first one that comes through. You want to hear more phone calls? I could sing a phone call. That'd be different. Hey, can I book a show at your venue? Track number two from Better This Way. You don't know? Well, I can do that one on the other guitar. <laughs> Foo Fighter. Ring of Fire. I went through a burning. So this is supposed to be a me booking show as it turned into a tiny little show.
what it's like so there you go weirdos you wanted a song now you all need to book a show you know what's funny is while I was doing this, I got a text from somebody who wants me to play at a writer's night, um, which is that's not a big deal. It's at a barbecue place. But anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. That was weird. If you didn't get a lot of value out of that, I get it, because that was weird. Um, <laughs> all of your chats are funny. Um, get out your cell phones. Anyway, um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Those of you live, those of you who made it through the video and watched this. Um, I'll do a follow-up and let you know if any of these turn into gigs because obviously that would be nice. But I'm going to go ahead and say there's a good chance none of them will. Or if they do, it'll be a long time from now or whatever. Um, <laughs> and Gary's upset that I'm not doing Studio One instruction. Well, Gary, I'm sorry. I'm doing music instruction because we're all musicians too. Um, but... There's a whole, there's a hundred Studio One videos. If you haven't checked those out, there's a playlist of those. So definitely go see those. Anyway, um, that's it for me. I'm going to be done. That's it. I'm done. I'm out. Thanks for watching. See you.